delighted to be here and thank you so much for inviting me. I'm also so happy to see old friends like Wali Masood and Masood Khalili. It's been years since, since we met. Um, I put together a few words. I've been thinking about this day for days. So let me share with you some of my conclusions and experiences. The international community failed Ahmed Shah Massoud. And by failing Massoud, they also failed the people in Afghanistan. I was there when Massoud numerous of times tried to have the assistance from the UN to monitor borders and airports. He knew of the foreign interference that among the Afghan Taliban, there were fighters from Pakistan, from Yemen, from China, and so on. When asking one of the prisoners of war, I was told he was fighting in Afghanistan, not for the Taliban leader Mullah Omar, but for Osama bin Laden. And when in Herat, I was shown where the Arab families had lived during the Taliban time. The UN did not listen to Massoud. Everybody in Afghanistan at the time knew of the foreign interference. His appeal was neglected. The international community wanted to protect their own picture, that the armed conflicts were between different Afghan groups, not foreigners. Uh, they nourished their own picture of Afghans fighting each other. These were really, really harsh times. The people were suffering big time. There was hardly any food, hardly any equipment to treat sick and wounded with. On top of that, a draft forcing farmers to try to sell their skinny cattle. There was simply no feed. And Massoud was losing the armed battle. He had been forced by a much stronger enemy to the northeastern corner of Afghanistan. His troops were well ill-equipped and running out of ammunition. He would always grant me time for an interview, even late at night, returning exhausted from the battlefield often together with Dr. Abdullah, Dr. Abdullah, who would translate. I later came to realize that Masood did understand some English as well, not only French. Once in Talukan, Asim assisted his meeting with journalists and the commander then corrected his English. Dear sweet Asim, he was later killed in the attack against Masood. And finally, in June of the year 2000, a group from the European Parliament led by General Morion visited Ahmed Shah Massoud in Afghanistan. I joined them in Dushanbe, Tajikistan. They hesitated some when they saw the condition of the helicopter we were to fly into Panjshir. I doubt they had any idea how much effort there was behind putting delicious food on their tables during their stay. Only Massoud knew how close we were to enemy lines when he took the group on destroyed roads in four wheel vehicles. Even the Salang tunnel at this time was being blown up. Before leaving, the group decided, declared that they would put their support behind Ahmed Shah Massoud and no one else and have the European Parliament invite him to Strasbourg. Nicole Fontaine, the president of the European Parliament at the time, welcomed Massoud in Strasbourg on May 4th, 2001. It was reported that a group belonging to Osama bin Laden had planned attacks against Massoud in Strasbourg, but they were apprehended in Italy and Germany. Ahmed Shah Massoud was fighting for united Afghanistan, regardless of ethnic background. He was fighting for independence for Afghanistan. It was a threat to foreign powers with their own interest in Afghanistan. Afghanistan has the resources to be a really rich country. But those foreign powers fighting in Afghanistan, they don't care about the people. They want to enrich themselves. From drugs, natural gas, emeralds, and so on. Writing my second book on Afghanistan, I met Masoud Khalil in his home in Kabul. If one thing I've learned in, as a journalist in Afghanistan is that you always have to have your own first-hand sources, otherwise you fall in the hands of someone else's agenda. Masood trusted journalists, and it pains me that that trust became his death. Those killing him claimed to be journalists. Masood Khalili was, as we heard at the time, ambassador in India, 
and Masood had asked him to join him in Afghanistan. The evening before the attack, they had read Hafez and by random, these lines. Many days pass, many nights go, many years come, many nights disappear. You too will not be able to have a night like this again. And the commander responded, life is nothing but a story. Thank you.